Hey guys, how's it going? Yes, welcome back, welcome to another video. Right before each episode or painting, I like to do these little paint sketches and you guys seem to really respond to them. Maybe for today, I could paint one for you guys and take you through the process of creating one. So, let's do it. Stylized portrait tutorial. Yeah, so this is the vibe I'm going for. You know, this is a simple sketch that I had prepared for this episode. Also, I have these colors picked out for me. And what I like to do with these stylized portraits is have a nice combination of warm colors and cool colors. I'm thinking maybe the skin tone can be super warm, and then maybe the hair or the hat, maybe the shirt can be super cool. And so my line art is on a multiply layer. And then I'm gonna shade a little bit with uh, this other color right here. One brush blending mode I really like to use is just a soft round, but turn down the hardness just a little bit so it has more of a fade like that. Sometimes I use an airbrush just to quickly. Ooh, that's cool. It immediately builds form and is moving forward. And let's put in the hair color right now. Also, the reason why it's so clean is that I have clipping mask, and this is what it looks like. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus Christ. Right click, create clipping mask. Wow, it's like uh, using some shampoo and conditioner on your hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. As you can see, here's the progress right now. I really broke everything down into two tones. That's really all you need. And now I'm going to try some of the dark accents, which I really love. And I'm going to uh, put in some of the light. I love adding this part. I tried to light it. Not the highlight, but the light. When I try to turn the form, I take the background color and apply it on the side of the cheeks. So it has that nice three-dimensional global pop. Actually, you know what could be really cool? If maybe we add like a like a dragon. Something that matches the character essence. Maybe a tail here. Ooh, that's cool. I really like that. Let me zoom out. Whoa, look at all that space. You guys are on that screen right there. And zoom in. <laughs> Make sure that each element has character and each character is gonna mesh within each other to make the whole painting. You can see like the essence of the hair is one thing, the skin feels like its own character and we have the dragon. So one thing I'm consciously doing is trying to match the shape essence of the hair to the dragon. I feel like this is the type of girl who would have a tattoo. And now let's do some of the highlights. Nice, look at that. That's why I like to save the highlights for later. Before and after. How am I gonna do a painting without color dodge? So, let's do some color dodge. You guys ready for this? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I like to do these on the style of portrait too. They add a lot of just energy, sophistication, and magic. And one thing I really love to do is linear dodge, and I like to do it in the crevices. Right here. Ooh! I love that. When we paint with layers, sometimes we're a little mechanic, and we need just a boost of painterly strokes just to make sure we have everything aligned. cut angle. Just pick a place and just have a nice clean cut. As a final touch, I like to add an accent of color around the whole thing so it kind of looks like we started with it, but we actually ended with it. Of course, we need to make fun of it, so we're gonna draw glasses. Okay, those are terrible glasses. Let me try that again. Hey guys, 
guys, welcome back. I really hope you enjoyed that. I really like how the piece turned out, and I kind of wanted to do something more chill and laid back, and I really hope you guys enjoyed the piece. By popular demand, I am doing another fan video yeah. where I recreate one of your drawings. It's gonna be out next week, so stay tuned. I wanna ask you guys something, though. But what do you guys wanna see more from my channel? Maybe a sketchbook tour, or actually, I don't have a sketchbook. <laughs> I never finish them, so they never get anywhere, and I lose them and I should sketch more, but yeah, I'm doing a studio tour and things like that. I'm gonna read a lot of them, so let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, every day is a color dodge day.